I think the reason I'm shocked is if nobody's shocked, then why didn't the prosecution and the detectives know not to charge her in this manner? Yeah, Ajit Kassaris, put, put, some, put some context in this because you've got the legal experts. None of them are shocked. Oh, yeah, nope, nothing to see here. But everybody <laughs> in America is pulling their hair out. I'm sure. I'm sure. You know, it has nothing to do with Casey's lies. I mean, that's a given. Casey lied. On and on, she lied. It all has to do with the Constitution. And the fact is, when she was interviewed at her home that night, uh, there were two statements she made that they selected to charge her with, lying to a law enforcement officer. When she went to Universal, there were two statements they selected to charge, lying to a law enforcement officer. Well, the appellate court said, when you have this one interview, you can't have multiple charges of lying to a law enforcement officer because it's all one statement. So you can only have one charge in that area. So but one was why don't out, the one was prosecutors kept. know this? Well, Jean. then I guess you could give an argument that there's overcharging even when it came to a misdemeanor. Uh, but the appellate court ruled. But I spoke with Cheney Mason. They may file a motion for a rehearing on the other two convictions because they believe she was in custody. They believe that she did not feel free to leave when she was questioned by the officers at her house and then at Universal Studios the next day. And on that, the appellate court sided with the prosecution. Okay, wait. Are, in plain English, you're telling me that Casey Anthony and her team are still not satisfied. They're going to go to the highest court in Florida to get even the last two misdemeanor convictions of lying tossed out, even though this woman is a prolific pathological liar who lied repeatedly to cops. Uh, that's well, a yes or no, Jean Gazaris. I'm going to say no. I'm, I'm going to say no, because the issue is not that she's lying. The issue is the constitutional aspect of it. All right. Well, you explained that very well, but here's what I don't get. All right. Why didn't the prosecution know this? Why is this no shock to anybody on our panel? But apparently it's taken years now for this conclusion to be reached. 